Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Uh, today I'm going to continue with the topic how to combine multiple tables in a single table in Power Query Editor. Okay, so in a previous video, we learned how to append tables and how to merge table using left outer join and right outer joins. Okay. Uh, if you did not watch that video, then I'm going to uh, leave a link in description and you can uh, go and watch that. Okay, so I'm here with the merge table where we left last time and I'm going to click again to the source. And we have a merge window here and now we are going to um, uh, select the third option in a join kind. Okay. And this time I'm going to select the full outer join. And we have a message here that the selection matches 9 records out of 10 rows from the first table. And 9 records of the 9 uh, rows, um, 9 out of the 9 rows from the second table. And full outer means it's going to give you all rows from both tables. Okay, so we are expecting here 10 rows and I'm going to click on OK. So we have a 10 records here and when I expand this vendor table then 9 records has a vendor data so matching record and 1 record does not have a data. Okay, I'm going to remove this tab and go back to the source and this time we are going to select the inner join. And inner join, as you know, that it gives only matching rows. So uh, it's going to give you a nine records um, matching rows in a merge table. Okay, I'm going to click on OK. And we have a nine records in a merge table. And they all have a vendor name. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to go back to the source. And we're going to select now left anti join kind. Okay. And if you remember that the left uh, from my previous video, I showed that uh, picture uh, with all join types. And uh, you can, um, you, you learn that the left anti takes all records from the uh, left side table or in this case inventory table. So 10 records and then it excludes whatever is matching from the second table. So in this case, nine records. So we are expecting here only one record. And let's see. Yes. So we have only one record in left anti. Okay. And which does not have the vendor name. Okay. Now go back to the source and we are going to uh, learn about the right anti. Okay. So right anti takes uh, all records from the right hand side table, in this case vendor table, nine records, and it excludes whatever is matching record. So again a nine record, so nine minus nine, which is zero. So it says here that the selection excludes nine of nine rows from the second table. So we are not expecting any record in a table. Okay, and so this table is empty. So guys, this is all about the um, merge options in a Power Query. Now we are going to learn about uh, fuzzy matching option. Okay, so I'm going to click back and in a merge window, you have this last um, option here, which is use fuzzy matching to perform the merge. So what is fuzzy matching? So sometimes what happens that you have a couple of table in March and one of that table has a sum of the entries which has a small letter entry. It has a space. In that case, you actually want that record in your March uh, table. Um, so uh, that uh, you can fix it with using the fuzzy matching. Okay. So let me go back to the table and I'm going to uh, select, let's say, a uh, vendor table. And I'm going to select one record and going to replace it with the small letter entry. 
okay so hlc8 i'm going to replace it with hlc8 in small letters okay and now when we go back to the merge we have one entry because our uh, selection is on right anti but uh, let, let me select again to the left outer join and you can see that it used to show us a nine matching record now it's showing up eight because it is not considering that one record which we uh, which we made it in a small letters but when you click on the fuzzy matching then it shows the nine records so when i click on the fuzzy matching options there is a um, there is a ignore case or match by combining text part that options and when i click on the ignore case uh, then in this case because it's only small letter entry it doesn't make any difference but uh, let's see try this option and see the match by combining text part so selection matches now nine records so uh, this is the fuzzy matching uh, here you can okay sorry so this similarity threshold by the way that is a 0 0.8 by default uh, you might not see let me bring up this so yeah so by default it is 0 0.8 and uh, zero is um, allows um, everything and one is does not allow anything it needs exact match okay so the threshold here is 0.8 by default and uh, also in this section transformation table you can provide a reference table that if your one table has a this value then consider it as this value so let me show you here uh, the file that or the table uh, we have for that i'm going to go back to the uh, i'm just going to go back, cancel it and i'm going to get the um, that table in a, um, in this file so we can add that in a fuzzy option okay so from the home tab click on new source and i'm going to select the excel file because i have that table in the same file and this transformation table so you can see that this table has only three entries uh, and i'm going to get that in power query okay so when you provide this um, uh, this table the name doesn't matter but this table should have a two columns from and to and whatever the entries you wanted to um, uh, add in this table they are like you want now you are saying that if it's any table has a hlc8 then understand hlc8 so um, you can give anything here you can give even a completely different name here let's say your one of the file has an entry like maybe one two three four here and that you wanted to consider as hlc8 to match then you can give that one two three four in from column and hlc8 in two column okay so now we are going to go back to the merge table and i'm going to click back to the source and we are going to select so uh, left outer join and i'm going to select this uh, fuzzy matching and in this option i'm going to give a file to this transformation table okay so click on this uh, drop down menu and select that file so in our case transformation table okay and click okay so as you can see that now our left outer join gives exactly uh, same um, number of merges uh, even though with the even though with the uh, that small letter entry even if i make here a replacement like let's say let's replace this with uh, 
what we have in our uh, transformation table. So H, uh, sorry, C, uh, and then two spaces in this CB9. Okay, so let's do that in a vendor table. Uh, I'm going to replace it with the spaces. And this C and 10, I'm going to also going to replace this with C and and 1. Okay. And now let's see what happens. See, it still gives us a 10 rows. Um, so basically this fuzzy matching works this way that uh, if you wanted to if if something is not matching but in reality uh, for you the small letter or spaces in an entry it doesn't matter then you can provide that in a, in this transformation table as we provide hlc8 meaning the system should understand this HLC 8 so it can merge based on this. So um, this is all about the fuzzy, mat uh, fuzzy matching and this is all about this uh, how to combine multiple tables in Power, uh, Power Query Editor. Uh, and if you like the content of the video guys then please like, share, comment and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.